Okay, welcome back once again. This time I'm going to be following a select gameplay spell, Grill Meal. He's been in a couple of the replays so far. He was like sending them in, so we'll just keep doing them for now. Make sure everybody gets a chance, though. If you do have replays, look to send them in to me. You can come to my Twitch channel to find out how all the information is there for you. This time around, though, spell Grill Meal with the Scylla play. Um, it's going to be starting off with Lost Artifacts, so probably a Doom Mob Rush, which is fine. It laying up against a Poseidon. Um, Poseidon, yeah, pretty much just send a matchup between the two, so he's going to get pushed early, but Poseidon is fine to deal with. 29 minute game, which is a loss, 13, 6, and 4. What rank are you? Gold 2, yay! I guess you've got up a division recently, yay! How do you think you played? I played pretty good, but I missed some ults and I was a bad po positions. Last of the game you struggle with, late game positioning maybe, overall carrying my team. Last of the game you feel comfortable with, laning phase and rotations. Cool. What we'll do then is we'll try and skim over the start. See if we see anything unusual that happens. Nice and fast. Pretty much standard so far, just to be expected, you're gonna get pushed in, just keep farming up. Oh, that crush was nicely timed. Good timing on the crush and to hold it. Good mid harpies. Everyone's looking good. Right. Potential kill here. You could have potentially killed her then. She just used jump. She just used jump. She jumped there, went back to lane. If you crush over the wall and throw out armor monster, there's a potential kill. It's not an easy kill, but it's a kill. That is viable and an option for it. I'm just watching over the replay nice and quick because we're trying to get to the mid game. So that's positioning team fights that seem to lay down because at the moment I don't see too many mistakes. You're playing safe when you need to play safe and you do exactly what you need to do in slow which is just hold on, don't be scared. Wouldn't have risked using the three when I did. Now listen, using the sentinel like that might seem cool to stay in range and know you've got a disengage option, okay? But the problem with that is if that they CC you at the very end of the duration of this, and as you can see, the duration is five seconds. If they CC you during the duration of that, towards the end of it, it means you're not going to be able to teleport to it. A is issue one. B is you're against the Bastet. Bastet knows where that's going. What she could do is go aggressive and then pounce to exactly knowing where you're going to be. So you're setting yourself up for a potential death. Not always, but some of the time. Think about it a little bit more. Unfortunately, I'm a monster. You just juke back out away from it. I think you're a monster placement there wasn't so bad. You can kill this though. <sighs> you got nothing else. Unfortunately, you did go Doom Mob. Good kill. You get the kill in the end, but it was a shame the ammo monster missed earlier on. Do we need to base there? No, we don't, so we're going to stay. We've got something up. Don't back away too far. Don't worry so much. Cripple? Cripple? Could have crippled him then. Cripple him now. Cripple him. Could have thrown out your cripple and then done crush to him, like you would have taken half his health. Yo, you can kill. Dabasta's killable. Basta is killable there. Keep focusing on farming. Keeps rotating on you, you're not doing anything to punish him. Punish him! Punish him! Should I save the cripples after? <laughs> Unfortunate for that guy, he walked back into it. Make caps have spawned again, we're in time for these, watch out for the damage. Unlock you with the cripple. Gotta work better. I mean, the armor monster jukes, you've missed a couple of ultimates, but it's not really your fault. Try and land more seconds though, good in hands usage. Good use of your in hands, get mid farm down. Good. Then rotate for right. Going to find out the down. You're not going to be able to really chase this, honestly. Good decision to back when you did. Boots should be coming online now. Good. And an Aegis. I don't really feel the Aegis on Scylla against Poseidon. I don't think it's needed. You want Beads. Beads is going to be better for you because you can get out of the Cripple from Whirlpool. And then because you're out of the Cripple, you can send Scylla away. You don't need um, Aegis. You can also use Armor Monster to get out of the Cripple from Whirlpool as well. If you do get under threat there. Mid lane far burritos. Mid lane far burritos. What's with the defensive ward? Why the defensive ward? Why defensive? You're not losing the lane. You're aggressive. You're 3-0. and zero. You've got an offensive ward here. So what's this ward actually giving you vision of? Absolutely nothing right now. I hate this ward. I hate everything about this ward stands for. Because uh, it stands. You get it? Because it's a ward. It stands. But there's two wards here, right? 
You've got full vision control of that jungle. Why the hell have you put a ward here? There's no reason for this ward. You just wasted 50 gold for no reason whatsoever. This ward should be placed over here to equal out the side of the map and control of it. I don't like the ward placement. What I do like, though, is the rotation. You can still clean this up. Oh, you've got to land those sickums. That's the biggest issue you're having right now is you're missing sickums. Why did you juke yourself into there? That's risky as anything. I guess you didn't know you had sent all up. Try not to pin yourself in a corner when you've not got abilities available. If you can help it. Good sentinel. Problem is, is um, your boy Ram is dead. Not bad poke there, I'm glad. You kind of had a choice of trying to hit multiple targets or just clear the minion wave out. The minion wave clearing was good. You're hanging around Iron Monster, you pop Iron Monster now. That's what I'd do. Yeah, good pop. Relax. Good one kill. Relax. Unlucky with the second hit. That cripple should kill her. Awesome work. Awesome work. Why are we backing away? Why are we backing away? Ram is still in there. You've not got abilities, but you've got autos. They don't know when your abilities are back up. Go back to mid. Mid harpies too. What a sentinel there. Would not have sentinel there. Guess what? You've not got a ward where you could need. You might need a ward one day. You see this new R rotation coming in. Far mid harpies are coming up. Ram gets caught. Ram's probably gonna die. Rip. Mid harpies. Good job. Back to base when you can. Okay, I don't mind that base too much, honestly. Uh, start working on. I'm guessing it's obsidian. You should go for here. That's the one time where I'm confused. That's the one time you've done something where I'm like, you could have gone aggressive and get multiple times, but this time round you choose to go aggressive when you can't do anything. Watch this. What's this sentinel for? Why are you chasing him? Why are you chasing him? Are you going to do auto him to death? You might die for that. You should have died for that. If Bastard landed the bleed, if she had cats as well, you should have died. Because she could have just all in you. You had no abilities up to defend yourself. Don't get that play on the cab. The times when you could have rooted him and actually put damage down onto him is the times you've not gone aggressive on Geb and the times when Geb's... when you can't, you've gone aggressive. It's been weird. Two wards. Are you red? Cool. We're looking for rotation again. A bit risky with this farm in mid lane, but I don't mind it. You're over this side of the map. And my monster's going to do good damage if it connects, but it's not going to kill. Maybe they can now because shield's down. I like the fact that you're waiting, by the way, with the um, with the armor monster to try and wait for the shield to come down. The problem is, is you're losing a lot of poke in your mid tower there for free because of this rotation. You could potentially be dead there. I like the use of crush defensively. But you lose another wave to the tower. So that rotation doesn't really work out for you because you didn't get a kill. And you had farming mid. Farming mid first. I like the rotations, but you're just farming mid. You're not farming mid correctly before you rotate. Why are you looking at them and there's three targets behind you, four targets behind you? Well, that should be a doubles. The funny thing is, it's like carrying your team, but I mean, your team's played really well so far. You're getting some last hits for the kills, but the team is setting up. Unlucky with the armor monster. You can still chase that if you wanted to. Your team's good, but maybe group up with them. Look for a gold fury call here. Push mid tower, mid tower, mid tower, mid tower gold. Mid tower or gold should be the call here. Looks like it's going to be gold. Zone control, good. I like the fact you've got a zone control here. It's very smart of you to do so. Stay on zone control still. Unlucky with the root. We've got to land these sickums, though. We're missing too many seconds. Too many seconds. Autos, autos, autos. Don't forget they do stuff. Autos do things. You get the gold. You could have got more out of that. Could have got a little bit more. Hoppies, 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 hoppies. Messy fight in the end. I think your biggest issue now is landing your sickum. Your crushes are landing, your armor monsters are landing more, but missing these sickums is really important. It's one of the, it's the most difficult thing on Scylla, honestly, is landing the sickum. Because it's a cripple and it's a root, and it does fantastic damage too. And it's her only CC. Hard CC. It's even hard. Well, it technically is, it's cripple and root. We missed too many. 
We missed too many. Well, see how he just didn't save you? I don't agree with the fight here more than anything else. After missing the route here, you're on half health. You get slapped down a little bit. Lucky with the route. Shut down. Mm. would have done anything differently there. I mean, honestly, you didn't do much wrong. Your Aegis was good and nicely timed. If you had beads there, it wouldn't have saved you anyway. You just got caught. You got caught and you got picked and that's your first death. It's unfortunate, but... It wasn't the best way to give up a kill for free, really. Rotating right because there's farm there. Good decision to defend that tower. Fight going on in the jungle. Trying to close the gap quick as you can. Get back to it. Go preemptive ammo monster. I'm okay with this. And good usage of holding on to it as well. Great damage. Great damage. That was nicely played, honestly. And there's a second. Hey! Your position is not that bad. From what I've seen in the team fights, you're staying far enough back. You're going in when you've got abilities up. Your rotations for farm are good. We're definitely plat level here, boys. We're definitely plat level. I know you just hit gold too, but you can definitely hit plat with this level of play so far. Aggression in mid again. Wait patiently. No, the root should have been waiting on. The root should have been waiting on. The root should have been waited on here. That's what I'm going to talk about. You're using the second to confirm the damage. Now, the damage is good, but don't forget, right, that the root is huge. It keeps you in place for 1.75 seconds, okay? And it's a cripple as well, just to add to that. So, the opportunity that you get here with this gank, that should have been done the moment he drops out of his mouth. Wait patiently for it to drop out, and then crush soon after. At this opportunity as well, when they all dive in on you, I like the disengage and the attempt to throw it over the wall. I was thinking maybe I would have crushed and then tried to go over, but you get out, and that's the main thing. You live to fight another day. Rotation to mid lane once again. Poseidon's going aggressive here. You might be able to kill him though. If you land a second, he's dead. If you land a second, he's dead. Hey! Monster! Monster! Uh oh. Oh, he's going to juke you out here. No, he's not! Yeah, that was nice. I like that. I like what you did. For the most part, I like what you did. The only difference is I probably would have armor monstered earlier. Don't forget. One point. Seven five, okay. You throw the root, you throw the crush. Look when crush is literally gonna pop now when you press two. Straight after you press ult. That's what it should have happened. It should have been root, crush, ult, all in one go. You do get the ult off though, and you do get the kill, which is good. And I like the fact that you're actually using the full duration of her ultimate. A lot of seller players don't realise they can do that. That should be a kill too. Cough is escape route. Good job with the Sentinel there. The Sentinel was good there to start the rollout. Now, at this stage of the game, with how the game's gone for your team, you have been involved in 12 of the 17 kills, okay? Now, not because the team are playing badly here. The team are playing very, very well as a whole. You're working as a unit, even though you have all the kills. The issue is now, is that because you've got all the last hits and all these kills, that you're going to be the focus target in the team fights. But this also means that your positioning and rotations have to be perfect, because you have to be part of the team at all times and support them. So I hope we don't see any solo adventures by you or being caught out of position, busy farming when there's a team fight going on. Because it's very, very important not to get caught. And it's very important to be there for these fights because they need you. Poseidon's caught out of position here and you're trying to fight Noir. You could have killed Poseidon here. I think you're going to die to Poseidon. Yeah. You killed Noir, but was Noir really that much of an issue where she was right then? Poseidon was a free kill for your team. And that's what I was talking about. 
because you had Hercules and Bastet with you. Now that you're dead, they can start to try and turn this around. Going aggressive. They're going to kill Hercules. So it's a two for one trade so far. And then they're going to get Athena as well. So now they're going to get a tier two tower off that. This wasn't only your fault, to be clear, right? This wasn't your fault, but you should have seen the, uh, the Poseidon. If you see the Poseidon was out of position, Poseidon could have died. And Poseidon wouldn't be in the position there to get a triple kill, which, which is what he just did. If you would have rotated Poseidon, this could have swung things. We are alive again. Let's get back to you. Kronos Pendant at this stage, I'm not a fan of. I'm not a fan of you getting Kronos Pendant now. I would have preferred you to go right up to Hootie here. Increase your damage further. Going Kronos Pendant, you're not really having mana issues anyway because you've got um, Doom Orb. If you were having cooldown reduction and you want more CDR, you could have gone CDR Boots. I don't think you need to go Kronos Pendant. Should have been a right up to Hootie. Full Wombo. Where's your beads? Where was the beads? Where was the beads? Where was the beads? Where was the beads? Where was your beads? Where was the beads? That should have been beads sent in the law. Beads, I'm a monster. Anything. Any one of those. You ward on the right a bit weak. I saw you drop the ward there. Very, very weak ward though. Should be a little bit further down, but that's okay. Just point out your ward placements. You pressure in mid, which is fine there. Pressure in left. You see the fight, so you start looking to get towards your teammates here. Do we drop this ward down? We don't. The route was good. You could have crushed as well after that, but then you're going to get surrounded. Some beads should come out now. Should be beads or Aegis. Beads or Aegis. You had them both available and you didn't use either. Didn't use either. And now because you're dead, your rest of your team's going to pretty much start getting cleaned up. Yep. That's pretty much the way of the game. The things that you need to work on going forward now is not getting picked. Like that position there, you got picked. I know you're trying to support your teammates, but you've got to think of the safer options. It's you getting picked that's causing the issues because you're the fed one on the team. It's not the team that have made mistakes. You're the one that's been picked and you're the one that took all the last hits for the kills. Not a bad thing to get all the kills online from a um, Silla's point of view. But at the same time, that means your position has to be crystal clear. And you've got to make sure you sit at the back and make sure you keep putting out this massive damage. See, this position is better for this engagement. Sit further back, watch the fight. Good root, good crush too. Nice poke. Back away. No need for a monster. Repositioning yourself to the back line. Good. See how this fight's better than what you did last time round? Getting yourself caught out trying to rotate around the back as a Scylla. I'm a monster's good here. Good ultimate. Look for the next target. Relax, relax, relax. Over the wall maybe. Unlucky with that one. Stay at the back though. Stay at the back and keep poking. Unlucky. You miss a lot of combos there which is unfortunate. I like the disengage with Sentinel there. There's no reason to go aggressive. They're looking for you. Gotta hit these Sikkims though, Spill. Good beads. Gotta hit these Sikkims. These Sikkims is... Oh. Oh, what was that hero play? And I think that's pretty much going to be game here. It's pretty much game. I'm going to stop because the game's going to keep going in this direction. Spill, you've got to hit the Sikkims more. That's the biggest issue. On top of that is you've got to position yourself better in team fights. That last team fight was very, very good. But then you randomly went aggressive again, which kind of threw you back off that. Um, your rotations are very good, actually. Overall, your rotations to the left-hand lane were fantastic. Uh, but watch your map awareness when you're ahead. That Poseidon pick kind of threw the game, honestly. Uh, it didn't throw the game completely, but that didn't help things out. Like, Poseidon got a triple because he should have died. You were too busy trying to kill Nuwar. You do kill Nuwar, but then look what happens off the back of it. They get three kills. Um, work on those things going forward more than anything else is your positioning and thinking about where I am in the game, okay? This is one of the things that you don't really think of most of the time because you'll blame your team because I did really well. Well, as a whole, your team set you up for a lot of these kills that you got. You misplayed a few times with missing your sickums where you would have got kills and your team continued to aggress which allowed you to get your crush back up which got you those kills in the first place that set you up into the great position you're in. Um, so you've got all those kills because of them. Now, because you've got all the kills, this why he looks like he's 1-9 but he's been involved in 11 kills. He's having a good game, honestly. He might not be having the best. He's died a lot of times, but still 11 assists. If some of these were kills, this itemization build would be further ahead. This level would be further ahead as well. Take into account that any one of these guys gets some of these kills that you got, they'd be higher up in levels as well. So, going forward, work on your position a little bit more. Positioning, positioning, positioning. Good luck, buddy!